Does a hyperbaric chamber cause oxidation? Yes, it does. But is that always a bad thing? No, I don't think it is. Are there appropriate times that we should be thinking about and using antioxidants, whether that's supplemental oral antioxidants or potentially IV antioxidants, before going in a hyperbaric chamber? Absolutely, there are definitely times you wanna consider pre-treating patients with antioxidants before going into the chamber. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. The effects and the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen are many. One of the issues that comes up often when we're talking about hyperbaric is the fact that hyperbaric does cause oxidation. It's really important that you understand that oxidation is not always a bad thing. In fact, there's reasons why we use oxidation to create a certain type of signaling within the body. At the same time, Many of our patients are very fragile. They're already over-oxidized, and potentially they could be very sensitive to the increased oxidation that they're going to get inside the hyperbaric chamber. In those cases, it's important to try to recognize who those patients are and pre-treat them with some type of antioxidant. You could use vitamin C, you could use selenium, you can use glutathione, you can use hydrogen water. We've talked about a lot of these ingredients. The reason ultimately that we're choosing to give them these antioxidants is to create a layer of protection against the increased oxidative quality or the increased oxidation that they're going to experience inside that chamber. So that real chronically ill patient, multiple autoimmune diseases, very sensitive to EMFs or other radiation, over-inflamed, sensitive to touch, sensitive to sound, those patients could in fact have an increased response to the oxidation of the chamber. And those are the patients you wanna consider pre-treating. If you're watching these videos and you're enjoying the content, if you find value in the information that we're sharing, can you please hit that like button and subscribe and then send this video to somebody that you think might benefit from the information? It really helps us get our message out to those in need. Long term, they should improve. In other words, they should actually become more and more accustomed to that increased oxidation level from the chamber, and you'll need to pre-treat them less and less. And you can transition them from a patient who is getting pre-treated with antioxidants to a patient who is not getting pre-treated with antioxidants, and then ultimately getting them full exposure to all of the benefits of hyperbaric. You do not, however, want to have a patient who's already oversensitized and already over-oxidized have a negative experience to the hyperbaric chamber. In all of these cases, you know this very well, a patient going through hyperbaric is going to be a long-term patient. There are very few treatments that are five or six or eight treatments. So many of these are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 80, right? So depending on how many sessions that these patients are gonna need, you're gonna have a long-term relationship with this patient. And in order for that patient to ultimately decide to commit to the process, they need to have a good experience from start to finish. And having an over-oxidized patient experience increased oxidation inside that chamber in their first session or two, could ruin the experience and have the patient decide not to continue care. And so if we want the patients to continue care because we want them to get the results that they're looking for, we need to make sure that their experience from their first session through their 20th or 40th session are always positive. And in those cases, pre-treating with some antioxidants to take the edge off the oxidative effect of the chamber could really, really help. I hope this video helps. I hope you understand now why you might pre-treat a patient with antioxidants. I hope you understand who that patient might actually be. And like always, I hope you get a lot of benefit out of these videos. See you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath or an acupuncturist or a DO or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.